when we started the reform, it was a very simple question. If any of you sitting here, and I'm glad that I'm talking to this audience, if you own shares in any business and that company has not given you dividends in 30 years and there is no evidence of capital appreciation of your shares, what would you do? It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. There was an entity that started, it was the biggest bank in Nigeria, in 1993, had $160 million, listen to me carefully, dollars. 80% was given to it as equity and another 80% as debt in 1993. So it was 30 years today, not a single cent was ever paid in dividend over that 30 year period. In fact, our shareholding in that entity has dwindled significantly. But that is the story for just one of them, so many of those. So it is important that government business is run as a business where we have commercial interest. They must be run as such. We owe the citizens the responsibility to be accountable and to show that we are managing your commonwealth the way you would manage yours as an individual. We have properties that are lying fallow around the world, not being used. In fact, they're a liability. That has to change. You cannot be renting a property in the same city for $20,000 a month, whereas you have another property in another city lying fallow and wasting your way, and you don't do anything about it. You live in Lagos. Go to the CBD close to TBS, most ministries had their buildings there. How do you let such prime properties in that neck of the wood, lying idle, becoming criminal dens? And we say we don't have money. Nigeria is too blessed to be poor. We are too blessed to be poor. It is about management. It's about holding ourselves accountable and responsible for that which we own. We all know how much we owe, but how many people know what we own? Yes, I did say that our target is to grow our AUM to 100 trillion. In fact, every day, the more I do this work, the more confident I am that it can be done. And it will be done. Because we do have the assets. And that the, at the moment, the, 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 my, my chairman here mentioned that 18.3 trillion. And I just reminded him that that was based on the old exchange rate for NMPC. That does not include our concessioned assets. It does not include any of our real estate assets. It does not include any of our infrastructure assets. So for us, our strategy is very simple. The first thing is enumerate all the assets that we own across the different asset classes. After we do that, second is we introduce governance because we believe governance is fundamental in value creation. And then thirdly, monetization and optimization, which would also include rationalization. There is evidence that if we succeed in creating a national assets register and we put the policies and the regulation in place, two things can happen. One is that the revenues that will come from just that effort is equivalent to 3%, can be up to 3% of your GDP. Let us suppose for the purpose of this exercise that our GDP is $450 billion. So you're talking about 13 point three billion dollars extra revenues per year that can come from that exercise. And it is real. The second is that the AUM of those assets that are put together could be up to two times your GDP. So if we drive ourselves hard, we should have AUM not less than, even if it's one X of our GDP, which is $450 billion. Can you imagine your all finance guys say, can you imagine if you had assets worth that amount under your purview, what kind of securities? I'm sure you begin to think already, your minds are going wild. What you could do with that? What kind of derivatives? 
securities you can create on the back of those assets. That is a possibility that lies ahead of us. So the message I leave with you today is, yes, we may have headwinds, we may have challenges, but I believe that together, by managing our resources and our assets better, by joining hands with government to come up with proposals, we will get out of it. This government has demonstrated that it can do that, and it will do that. I know for sure that the president understands this without a shadow of doubt about the importance of the reforms that are going on, especially in terms of how important it is for us to better manage our public wealth, which is part of what we're doing in the Ministry of Finance under the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Waladu. He's providing the leadership for us to do that. And I'm counting on each and every one of you to join us in this effort to build back better and greater. Thank you very much.